Judges can't have opinion. That's why the lady of justice is blindfolded with a scale. I'm not yeah, saying it's correct. You're going to have to do that. If you do that, you're going to do it for everybody. Well, which are, the whole I, culture. I understand what you're saying. Because everybody does it. You're not understanding my point. I understand what you're saying, right? Mm -hmm. That's the culture, right? Some, some managers probably let that happen. But once a manager feels like they want to run their store by the letter of the law and they call the police, now, by law, okay. you cannot sit in Starbucks without buying no coffee. Okay, so I got that, right? I, I got said that. you been arrested. The, if, if you felt like you had they to call the police. They asked, though. Should, should, they yes, should, yes, they should have asked. They should have yes. asked, like, yo, y'all want yes. to stay here. Be I'm not, yes, they should have okay. asked them first. Okay. Do, they should have asked them, do y'all want anything? Right. Which I don't know if they did or did. I exactly. Didn't That's what I said. I don't want to get into that. Okay. I'm saying that once the police was called, they shouldn't have got arrested. They should have just got escorted out. Or the police should have asked them, are you buying anything? I, if I was a cop, I'd have been like, just purchase a coffee and yeah. sit down. So that's what I'm trying to say where it's a very thin line in this particular case because they went and sat down and didn't purchase nothing. So by the letter of the law, I understand the culture, but by the letter of the law in a brick and mortar place of business, you can't do that. But if you go to a restaurant, if, if, if you and I go to a restaurant and we waiting for Joe to come, right? We're going to sit at the bar and buy a drink. But what if the... No, let's say it's at Denny's. Let's say we go to Denny's. Will we sitting at the sit, the seats that's to wait for? Or you're in the restaurant? I uh, see. All right, so you're going you, by... You, the you can't say Denny's and Starbucks. Two different... Two different situations. No, but if you're saying the letter by the law... No, what I'm saying is Starbucks doesn't have a waiting system like Denny's because it's an eat-in restaurant. Starbucks has, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can go and wait at the waiting chair for somebody at Denny's. That's what that's for. But you can't go inside Denny's and wait for somebody to sit down. Because now you're taking up a table that somebody that might want to purchase something. And again, you could do it, but if something goes down by the letter of the letter law. Of the law. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So that's why I say... It's 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 sketchy because all right, black people will say, "Oh, there's two black people and they were wrong and all of that." But you got to go by the letter of the law. So, in that situation, again, is this is how we learn from it. Now, would it be different if now if the managers did not ask them if they wanted to buy a coffee before they called the police? Does that change anything of what you what you with the letter of the law? If the managers called the police, right? Maybe they were scared. I don't know. The police wasn't supposed to act the way they acted. Because now they're handing the case over to the cops. Because once you call the police, the police going to tell you, don't say nothing to them. So now, whatever the reason why you're calling the police, you're feeling like something. For them to call the police, they felt alarmed. For what reason, I don't know. It could have racial biases to it, but at the end of the day, once the cops came, the cops should have said, are y'all going to purchase a coffee? If not, all right, y'all have to leave. You should not, a cop should never, they should serve and protect. If they were just sitting down there not harming anybody, it shouldn't be a situation where you come to arrest them. You just let them know. Like, hey, y'all can't just sit here like that. Y'all will have to go. Or y'all purchase some coffee. I don't, I, why would a cop want to come you know, do all this paperwork? You understand what I'm saying? When you can just uh -huh. tell them the situation and went on your merry way. See, that's where the lines get blurred. You see what I'm saying? Where it's like, okay, you want to put 
two black guys in jail. You see what I'm saying? But as far as the Starbucks itself, you got to go by the letter of the law because it's a business. You know how much Starbucks rent costs? You see what I'm saying? It's a, bus it's a business aspect to it. Believe it or not, brother. Once you bring in the letter of the law, because that's like when we have these encounters every once in a while where somebody's doing their job too well. Like they right. take their job too serious, but they're right. But they yes. should give you that, you know, that flex. You want the flexibility, but if they break it down to the letter of the law, you'll be in the wrong. I see it, exactly. That's, that's, that's the point. That's, that's it right there in a nutshell. And I'm not saying it's right. I'm saying once the law is called, that's where they're going with it, to the letter of the law. So if you have that sign outside your uh, spot that says no soliciting. Damn. That's, yeah, I guess. No, it's the truth. Yeah, it's the yeah. truth, brother. It's the truth. He said, no, nah, don't guess. No, I'm telling you, it's the truth. That's it's the truth. truth. It's the truth. That's why, that's the power they have to call the police. All right. Um, oh, Tristan Thompson. What about him? Uh, you know what about him. I see you already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tristan is wilding, yo. He not, he's the first guy, the first guy to get the Kardashians back. <laughs> right. So, nah. Was right is right is wrong is wrong. You don't have a pregnant wife. You don't have a yeah, pregnant they, wife. Yeah. Nah. Again, this is what our culture has <laughs> come to. What has it come to? To think that this is normal and this is okay. He again, should know. Again, like I said, to do the right thing. Do the right thing. You don't have a famous wife like that, and you don't be famous yourself, and you just a hookah lounge kissing on women. You don't do that. So this is what I mean by when you do the wrong things, the wrong things happen to you. Uh huh. You know, she's pregnant. She's about to have the baby. You don't do that. You don't do that. He's wrong. He's wrong. This is not in the realm of oh, they're Kardashians. This is the realm of. Being a good person. <laughs> you know, everybody makes mistakes. I mean, he's a man. He's a man. <laughs> you know what? Unless that what? video, unless that happened like a year or two ago and they just released it and someone did it, because I hear that happens a lot. He would have said it, though. They have, they have spin teams, meaning that if something like that happens and it was old, he'd have been the first one to say, oh, that was old, and she would have said it. Yeah. She would have been the first person to defend him. You see what I'm saying? Her history shows it. Look how much she defended Odom. Oh, my gosh. So... You know she would have did it. You get what I'm saying? Speaking of Odom, I hate to switch topics, but I'm pretty sure you've been to the Rucker before. Of course. I'm from Yo, Harlem. I'm from I Harlem. <laughs> Yo, I got to ask you this question. We, I, I was, who is the nicest ball player to ever come to the Rucker? To ever come to the Rucker? Well, to ever play at the Rucker, like perform, who had the best, like the most legendary game at the Rucker, in your opinion? I was there when Kobe Bryant came. Oh, see, that's who I, I saw it on TV. I mean, on TV. Now, I was there. The owner of the Rucker called me, rest in peace, Greg Marius. That's my guy. He called me and said, your boy will be here in 15 minutes. Get up here now. It's jam-packed. <laughs> I parked my car on the highway. Ran up there. I had half-court seats. Seen my boy Kobe. 
that was the illest game. He might not have had the best performance, but it was the illest game as far as the hype, the hoopla, the news was there. It was crazy. What didn't he do where you would say it might not be the greatest Oh, no, no. It's just the fact that he just signed a Nike. Nike was there. They was, like, trying to not let him play. He wasn't going that hard. It was this guy named the Prime Objective. The Prime Objective had, like, 30. Kobe kept giving him a lot of alley-oops and stuff like that. He wasn't going that hard, but he went hard enough. He gave the people enough. I seen Baron Davis, Steve Smith. Up there, kill, but the atmosphere wasn't like when Kobe came. So was Kobe? It did did, did Kobe? Because there's a you know did he was he is he a street baller? Can he ball street or is he just? Hell yeah! Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Kobe was mixing it up. Okay. Like nah, he got busy. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Like nah, that boy, that boy, that boy is he? He's official. He did what he he did what he came to do. So he wasn't on his MBA. He let he let his Listen, thing down. It started raining, right? Uh-huh. And all the people they had people with plug earplugs in their ear. This how this how crazy it was. It was like Secret Service was up there. <laughs> so anyway, uh, it started raining. So they was telling him like, "Nah, you can't play no more. That's it." He was like, "Nah, I'm playing. I'm playing." He had on orange and white uptown. He had an orange and white Air Force Ones. And he kept playing while it was raining until it got too bad. Who was guarding him? Nobody. Uh, <laughs> I don't care who it was. Nobody could guard him. Steve Francis came in the park and, and the crowd went crazy. Kobe said, give him a shirt. He said, nah, my shoulder hurt. He ain't want no parts of Kobe. Kobe would have amped it up if Steve Francis would have played. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kobe said, get that nigga a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't want no parts of that. He ain't want that smoke. <laughs> and Steve Francis was killing in Rucker. What, what about Steph Marbury? Oh, Steph Marbury is a legend in Rucker. Okay, all right. He's a legend. He's a legend in Rucker. <laughs> LeBron never went up there, right? LeBron went, but he didn't play. He was supposed to play in the championship with um, Jay-Z against Fat Joe. Uh, oh, isn't Fat Joe got the best team? Is that true? or no? Fat Joe, Fat Joe, Fat Joe had one of the best teams. But when Fat Joe and them started coming up there, it was like he was bringing five NBA players. That's not considered the best teams. It was best teams when it was – 55th players, like Skip to my Lou, Master Raw, The Future, Tip Dog. That's when Rucker was Rucker. Fat Jonah kind of fucked Rucker up with that shit, bringing mad NBA players and all of that. Nah, it was when it was the real 55th stars. You understand what I'm saying? My man Poole the Gangster. Who? What's 55th stars? The, the guys that played in 55th that were just from Harlem and from the Bronx and from Brooklyn that came up there and played, and they were superstars in Rucker. You understand what I'm saying? It wasn't no NBA players. Like, they made Rucker pop. Like I said, it was, it's a guy named Future. It's a guy named Master Rob, Tip Dog, Ali Moe, Rafa Austin, Kareem Reed, uh, Puda the Gangster, um... Uh, uh, legends, you know what I mean? Mike Boogie. It was a lot of people. Uh, when was uh, the games? Like, was it like on a like a specific like every Saturday or no? Like, Monday like, through Monday through Friday or Monday through Thursday, something like that. It was on. It a was weekend. popping Monday through Thursday. Hell yeah! Hell uh, yeah! This was like a fucking block party every day. Fifty fifth was crazy. This. It might have been one NBA star that come up there for the whole season, but back then it was all 55th stars, street ball legends. Mm. When Fat Joe came up there with Marbury, Ron Artest, he, they, they fucked the game up. That wasn't cool. That wasn't cool. Like yeah, I mean, I thought it was like once a week or something like that. I didn't. No, know. no, every, every day. Mm. 
Master Rob, 